Hey, what's up, YouTubers? John Rambo. Um, been seeing these videos going around uh, the YouTube survivalist and prepper community about who would live longer, the survivalist or the homesteader. And so I thought I'd uh, do my video response today. And uh, to me, I believe the, the people who are the most resourceful will survive longest and when I say resourceful, I'm talking about people who can adapt to change better. And also, you know, those people usually have a lot of skills. And I believe that in order to build skills, you got to meet different people. you got to try different things. And uh, um, I, I also believe you can learn just about anything from, from anywhere you're at, any group of people, you can learn something something new um, when I'm saying that I'm talking about a for instance I had a job at a prison and uh, I learned that the prison prisoners would take like ramen noodles and and make different food out of them. they could take cookies and make cakes out of them. so there's a there's a lot of you can learn a lot of things from a lot of different people and, and so you have to keep an open mind in order to do that and uh, Another thing I was talking about resourceful, the most resourceful people. I have a brother-in-law who doesn't really consider himself a survivalist, but he's got a lot of good skills that come in good in a survival situation. But now, as far as how I started out, I definitely started out as a survivalist. Uh, I started out at a young age. I was probably 10 or 11 years old, and I was hunting rabbits and squirrels at that age with an old single-shot 20-gauge shotgun. And uh, I was also fishing at a young age, and I had an uncle who taught me how to skin, skin animals, clean fish. And so, you know, I started at an early age. I, I mean, that skill is considered survival. And uh, and then when I turned 18, I joined the Army. Uh, the Army taught me survival on the battlefield. Uh, they, they teach you uh, a lot of good things, you know, as far as, you know what to do in a medical situ different medical situations. So, so you have some base knowledge of what to do in bad situations. And uh, but okay, over the years I've seen the YouTube prepper community evolve from prepping or survival to homesteading and. Over you, I mean, you know, so I, I kind of grew with them and uh, come to the realization your food preps will only last so long and you better have a, a be able to renew, have a renewal of resources. And as you can see here, I have a, this is my catfish pond. Uh, even got a duck house floating on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. My duck house. But, and I got a couple beehives and I got chickens. I got an orchard right there, as you can see, and I got um, a couple gardens. And uh, so I, I've really been working on the homestead stuff. I've also have also have a, uh, another 16 acres. I keep cattle or or uh, horses on. You know, if things get real bad. We have to go back to riding horses. I got I got a place to keep them, and I, I got another set of land. That's just an acre and a half that, that someday will be probably my 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 last tier of survival. Um, it's it's a back in the woods. It, um, it'd probably be the most primitive of all, of all spots. But uh, anyway, some of my shortcomings or weaknesses, I believe, is uh, my wife's not really on board with the whole homesteading thing. So I could. If she was on board, I could put more resources toward this. And I really, I, you know, I've been to Iraq twice. I've been to Kuwait once. So seeing the things I've seen, I've been to other third world countries. Uh, or it may not be third world, but I've been to Panama. And I've even been to South Korea. I've been to Canada. I've been a lot of places and uh, quite a few different states. So I've been places to seen things. And... Uh, you know, the world can change fast, and so you know I want to be the person that adapts to the change. And uh, 
won't have resources in place to survive for a long time. It's John Rambo. I'm out.